What's going on guys, it's me Shukashu, we are back with another Uma Musume video. In this video, we will continue training for the CM, which should be tomorrow night. I'm gonna just consider it as Friday, because uh, I obviously it all really set different times for us, depending where we are. But tomorrow's video should be either Teo or we'll just go back to a Gertie Cap, simply because tomorrow's the last day for us to get ready. But as the CM does go along, I will still try to improve the three characters that I've gotten. But we're just going to roll with the three best that I got for each and one of them just to see if we can roll with what we have. So here we have New Year's Kita. Same setup, except for the support cards. I wanted to try out. I said I was going to try this out. Never really did because all I did was focus on training either Teo or a Gertie Cap. So I never really tried the three speed setup with Kita. So that's what we're going to do in this video just to see if it'll be any different from what we've been doing before, but we'll see what happens. So let's just get it started. And we do only have two comments and it is both from Nova. So we're going to go over that right now as well. So starting off with the first comment from Nova, after I pick the first one, my gut feeling is that a third Kita costume might come out to celebrate the anime. Unlike season two, however, I'm not sure if they will have another character to have a special costume. Teo and McQueen made sense since they were the stars for the second season. Releasing the Paris Daya is kind of weird in my opinion. I don't usually pull for characters just because they appeared in anime, but that's just me. LOL. Okay. That's the first part of the first comment. I wouldn't think the third Kita costume would have to be related to the anime, to be honest. Because if the third costume for Daya was... Was it the Musketeer, Daya? If Daya, if they made a cost third costume of Daya, like a rat, something random, literally, I'm pretty sure they probably have something up for Kita as well. At least that's what I'm, well, that's what I'm thinking. At least. I mean, technically. I would assume that maybe maybe season three could kind of be like, I mean, I would assume that Kita and Dio would pretty, hmm. I think what I'm trying to say is I think season three could kind of be like season two where, you know, this would kind of just go like back and forth with Kita and Dio, maybe, we never know. So, Maybe, just maybe, but in season two, it made sense to use Teo and McQueen because they both had gotten new costumes. I think that's what made that make sense. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, who would they do? I think if they were going to do season three releases, it would just go down to the newer characters who are, who are most likely being introduced in the series, whether it's through the game or the anime for the first time. I think that's why I could be Satono Crown. It could be Dormente and honestly, no complaints if it's any of them. To be honest. It's just really hard to see them release another Kita or Daya. Especially another Daya during the season three because obviously they just released the third Daya costume and 
I wouldn't know what costume they would give Ida as a third one. Maybe it's something in season three, probably like a specific outfit. Maybe, not too sure. But it is possible. But I don't think. Maybe that's why it had a re weird release of the third Dio costume. Maybe. So they can set up a third release for Kita. I'm not too sure, but that is. That is possible. But I guess as the season progresses, of course, we will figure out many more possibilities of who will most likely be released and all that. So I think we'll be okay with what we have right now. So we'll just continue on with the comment. Side tangent, but I did binge watch Girlfriend Girlfriend over the weekend. And I have to say, I'm impressed. They figured out a way to make a harem anime realistic, but not realistic at the same time. The second season came out and I was curious since I thought it was just another generic harem anime, but I'm impressed overall. I think I saw that anime couple months ago. Either a couple months or earlier this year. That's for sure. I know I seen it this year. But I did like it. I did like it. Um, and was... I think I mentioned it when I was going over the fall season. I think a, a week or two ago. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. And that is the first comment from Nova. Second comment from Nova, we have... Also, I got my first UE from, I guess, Christmas Aguri Cap is what you mean when you put a C in front. <laughs> the stats were kind of weird. Speed, 15, 78. Stamina, 11, 39. Power 1281, Guts 847, and in or wise 1189. Hmm. 1578, 1139, 1281, 847, 1189. I think pushing speed to close to 1600 did the trick. But I'm not sure of the fact there was my skill count at the end, which is 19 with nine gold skills. Honestly, I think it's the skills. The skills. Um, 19 skills at, with nine of them being gold skills. Because I think. I think Eugen said 18 gold, um, skills. I forgot how many gold, though was like the perfect for like competitive for competitive umas so i'm not too sure i think it was 18 i feel like it was 18 cuz my stats for one of my uf7 agree capsule is pretty close if not slightly better because my that one had four stats over 1200 actually so i'm not sure i'm not sure it could be the gold skills i'm still trying to figure out how to really really get a lot of skill points i feel like i am getting enough skill points but at the same time i feel like i'm not so what's I haven't really figured out that issue, if it is an issue. But yeah, we'll see how many skill points we get at the end of this training run and see if. See if it just, you know, it's close to 18. Because normally it'd be like 15. 15 average. Uh. The lower end would be like 13. So 
I'm not too sure, but thank you for the comment, Nova, for both comments. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my Aguri cap or my Christmas Aguri, the UF7, the first one I showed you guys or before, like last week, is on par with the one that you had just gotten, so... But yeah, we are here. We had just finished. Would you just call it the first part? <laughs> the first part. I guess the first Alark race. And now. We are heading towards the. First overseas travel, so. Hopefully. Hopefully, it all works out um, the way I think it would. That's the reason why I wanted I wanted to try three speed. Um, it's simply because I want to see if I can get sixteen hundred speed and a thousand stamina, having the gold skill from the. Well, I guess from Arc Maestro, which is from Super Creek. And then hopefully having enough skills, 18 maybe, is what we're shooting for. Eighteen is what we're shooting for. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've gotten that many skills before. trying to see because with the tail set this is pretty much a tail setup that i'm using uh so it is possible for me to get 1200 st uh stamina regardless But then I think about my issue would be gut or the lack of getting at least 18 skills. So I need to really see or figure out the problem. I know we are like a day or two before the CM. So we're just going to roll with what we have, of course, what we can actually do to CM. But at the same time, I will try to get some um, better ones in the future. We have one, two, that's two. Not a lot that I can grab. Three. This, this this looks like um the divine speed one. It it looks like it, but I'm gonna grab it because I think it is the one. Okay, so we ha should have two more days before we go to the overseas travels. And how is our speed? I actually got a pretty low training run earlier or yesterday. It was a UG5 KO. That for sure caught me off guard. It's like UG5. Really? 
Yeah, it was a pretty bad training run. I'm not going to lie. I even, I even lost the race in the first overseas expedition. But I guess it was all right. Understandable at the same time. But how are we doing here with... I was going to check with uh, support bonds, but wasn't able to see it. We already got what we need. And there we go. Moving on to the overseas expedition. Halfway through the training run. Let's see if we can get a good RNG here. I guess I'm gonna grab this because like I said, I wanted to try to see if I can get more skill points. Honestly, having my my Ys be this high up already isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. Because I only have one Ys card, so seeing it be this active without having two uh, Y support cards is actually pretty, pretty darn good. I didn't know if I wanted to waste um, some of those LARP points for that, uh, but I will. If only if it was uh, rainbow training, then it would have been really good, but it wasn't. All right, let's jump into this race. And then hopefully we get a speed friendship training here because we need a little bit more speed. Yikes, we didn't really get anything so so I'm still just gonna do speed training just so I can get speed uh closer to 900 and at the same time maybe find some skills that can possibly help me out uh, we'll just take Saiyan Sky's unique skill. Probably help us out a little bit. Get the gold version of the skill we had there for these two, maybe. And maybe we'll be good. Good enough for the win. Power is pretty bad. Can't really do anything about it. I know I bought all of the things, so I shouldn't have any debuffs. But having low power already. Okay. We're good. We're good. So we have won the race. Now, if we can focus on getting wise to 1130 something, having also speed and stamina being built around the same time, we'll. We'll see if we can make this work. We'll see. First things first, got to get some energy. Hey, okay, we'll do a little power training because Power is really behind. Okay, some wise training because if this setup doesn't work out, then I'll just go back to two wise or maybe just put it back to guts card. I'm not sure. The speed looks kind of low. Maybe it could just be this specific training run where it kind of looks a little off, but 
think we'll be okay. Although I feel like my stats are lower than when I train with Cap or Teo. So I am not sure. Let me actually check if I have 40 matches done. 30, okay. Then we'll just do one now and then one more later. It's on stamina. Which is okay, because we can just put 1200 stamina. Yeah, speed is actually pretty behind. It would have been better if I had speed at 1200 pretty early, but it doesn't look like that way. Power is really low. So maybe more inheritance on power. I have no inheritance on power. Either no inheritance or like 12. It's really starting to look like I only have like 12. So might have to switch up the inheritance. I need to find to get more power on inheritance, maybe. Because I have majority of it on stamina. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, we are in the last five turns before the Takarazakinen. And then we'll go into the fourth Lark race into the final five, six turns. And we'll see how well this Kita did. Because right now, it's not looking too good being at about the last 10 turns it's it's really really not looking good especially with power being only at b barely hitting b plus uh where's stamina at stamina do we even have, have it at an s i don't think so not even an a plus so This run is kind of questionable. Kind of questionable, I would say. Well, at least we got the gold skills from that. Don't have to worry about wise anymore. See, I totally would do this, but then... I'm gonna just do it. Cause it already feels like this run is the not the run, so it's all right. It's all right. I just really wanted to try out the three speed. I'll give it probably a few more tries, just to see if um, I can get. A better result out of it. I'm pretty sure I can. To me, I feel like this setup could work for Kita as well, since you know it looked like it worked with Teo. I feel like it should work with Kita. Yeah, because I, I really want to see if I can get it going. So, um, Kita is, I think, the lowest out of the three that I have. So, I want to see if I can get it. Well, at least UF6. 
So we'll see what happens there. Um, we can try wise. I'm cool with that. I mean, not wise stamina. Okay. That's on speed, which is okay as well. Back on stamina. There we go. Dang, 98. Trying to see what I can do here. Because this would instantly... It worked, though. Now, I have another issue, though. And it's... Pretty much... It's pretty much for my power, uh, my stamina. I don't think I have enough to bring it up to 1200 from here. But I don't have any energy, so... It's kind of iffy. Can we get a good, like, s stamina bonus here? Is that eight? I don't know if that's good enough. Can I get a little bit more? It's 75, guys. Huh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go for it. Because I got nothing else to lose. Well... I did have nothing else to lose. I, I this it wasn't looking like this was gonna be the run anyway, so that's the reason why I went for it. But seventy-five percent decided to work. It decided to work. All right. So with that being said, I guess we can tr pick out some skills. I guess we can pick out some skills. Okay. Are we going to win this race? Power is pretty low. I think I really need to get a inheritance for that one. So probably swap up my parents. Uh, probably might have to change Saiyan Sky. Even though I want to use her for the unique skill. I don't know. I'll see. I, I, I'll see if I can make it work. I'll see if I can make it work. I'm also curious on how many skills I've gotten. Because it doesn't feel like I've gotten too much. Also, I'm not too sure how many gold skills I got. That's also another thing. One twenty six. One twenty six. What can I grab with that? I guess. All right. So we ended off with fourteen thirty speed, twelve thirty seven stamina, nine sixty nine power, nine fifty nine guts, and twelve twenty five. Wise didn't get an S in any of the any other aptitudes. So moving on, grabbing them or changing them into pink skills. Ended off with a UF two. UF two. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh, that's not bad actually. Not bad. All right, let's see how many skills we got. 
four, eight, twelve. Fourteen with the unique skill. Fourteen with the unique skill. I'm just a little bit off from getting like enough skills. And gold skills, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven gold skills. Which isn't too bad. Not too bad. But with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. We are close to 400 subscribers in this channel, in my channel. So it would be nice to see if we can hit that, you know, pretty soon. And we could start our journey into 500 subscribers. But um, if you guys can, leave a comment down below because we are actually getting real close to the CM this week. Uh, so I want to know uh, how ready you guys are for the CM. Also, your first thoughts on, since we touched up on it a little bit, what is the third costume of Kida going to be? Is it going to be from the anime or would it be something random like they did for Daya? And what are your predictions that they'll start releasing characters from uh, their first appearances, appearances in season three so for example like satono crown duramente and all of that how far because yeah how far in the series will we until we get or how far into the new season until they do that who knows maybe it'll be like halfway through maybe it'll be when the cm starts tomorrow because we didn't really necessarily get a new banner did we we got the the pickup support i think that was what it's called um but i think there is also a is there a live stream coming up although i don't know i think there's a live stream coming up on Friday, Friday. I'm not sure, but other than that, if you just want to leave a comment and want me to respond to it, just leave a comment down below. It doesn't have to be, you know, game related. It could be anything else and I'll respond to my best abilities, but hopefully, hopefully, I mean, it's not that it, that I can't use my US sevens. I just really want to try to get a UE for this uh, Champions of Meeting. But with that being said, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.